In this video, I want to show you how to handle external reference files because uh, sometimes you have to take these things into something else and uh, cut them down to just what you need. Otherwise, it will just overload SolidWorks. SolidWorks does not handle external files very well, or at least not polygonal external files. It'll handle uh, IGIS, STEP, those kinds of files just fine, but uh, polygonal files, it, it really uh, slows it down. So the more you can optimize it, the better. So in this case, I've got some stock models uh, here. They're 3ds Max models, but you could get, you could use OBJs, things like that. But you would have to import them rather than opening them up natively. Uh, and I'm a, a 3D Studio user, so uh, that's you know, typically what I use to edit these things. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to double click on uh, the character uh, that I want, uh, and you can get these things off the DOSH files. You can get them off the internet uh, or DOSH disks. Um, and so on, but uh, uh, and you can get them in various formats. Uh, it's it's trickier to find uh, native SolidWorks uh, formats. Uh, all right, so yeah, it looks like it's about to open it up here. In this case, I do not. I want to keep my systems gamma because I've got that set to the way I like it. And in general, it's not going to matter for you. Uh, and I'm going to um, keep my system unit scale because again, I've got that set to something I like. Uh, and I'm going to brow mouse out until I can see uh, this this the head here, um, and then I'm going to uh, pick this. Uh, if you can't see any edged faces, turn on F4 or hit F4 so that you can see them, uh, and that'll let, that'll help a lot with getting rid of all this other stuff that we don't need. So I've got just the body selected here. So I'm going to do I'm going to hit. Control I to invert the selection and delete so that I delete everything else. Uh, and then I want to pick the uh, head again and come over to the modify tabs, this tab right here. And there's a skin modifier on top of that, so I just want to delete it uh, so that I'm left with editable poly. And if your object is not an editable poly model, uh, just right click on it and come down. Uh, here, let me right click out here, come down to convert to and convert to editable poly and that will ensure that you can work on it uh, the rest of the way. So the first thing I want to do is go to the element level here and pick this thing again so that it picks all of the head. And you see there's things like the eyes and there may be a few other things out there that it didn't get. Uh, so what I want to do is uh, again press Control i to invert the selection and then delete to get rid of those. Next I want to switch to the polygon mode uh, here and rotate around. And to rotate in 3D Studio, hold down the Alt key, press the middle mouse key, and that lets you rotate around, or press and hold the middle mouse key, and that lets you pan. Uh, so I want to rotate around where I can kind of see the head here. I want to come up to my selection uh, method and click and hold on it till I can come down to this lasso selection. And I'm going to just kind of lasso down around the, to the neck uh, down here. So down past that, so that I'm getting yeah, all of the head. And if you pick up any extraneous uh, ones out here, and you can tap F2 to make these show up a little bit better. Yeah, say you, you've got some out here like that and you don't want them. Uh, hold down the Alt key and again you can just lasso around them and that will deselect them. And if you need to add to things, hold down the Control key and you can pick or you can lasso select. I'm going to do out of that. So yeah, it looks like I've got the part of the head that I want here. Oh, looks like I missed one there, so I'll hold Control. And that's pretty good. I don't need any more than that. Again, I'm going to press Control I to invert the selection and then delete to get rid of it. And now I've got uh, just the head here. So I want to get this um, to a point where I can export it. Uh, now one thing uh, that uh, I probably will need to do is get this thing back down to uh, the grid size uh, here. So uh, let's see, let's get, let's pick him. And yeah, woo boy, he's way up there. Uh, so I'll come over to the hierarchy tab, click on that, click on effect pivot point only, and then I'm just going to click center to object so that it centers him to him. Then I'll uncheck pivot point only. And I'm just going to come down to these little spinners right here and right click each one of those spinners to set everything to zero and that'll zero the head. 
down to uh, the, the ground plane and center it. Next, I'll, I just want to rotate it uh, around. So uh, I'm going to get my rotate tool and mouse around where I can see. Uh, grab the, there's a little spinner inside there that I can click and hold and drag uh, and mouse around. Now to get this thing to snap, uh, you'll want to turn on angle snap, which is this button up here. Uh, and then I can grab these, and you can watch down here uh, in the in these indicators to see how much you're spinning it. So I want to spin him backwards. I know from experience that he would come in um, face down uh, in in three uh, in SolidWorks. So I want to spin this around till he's 90 degrees. You can see there, so he's facing his head's facing straight up uh, like that. And now I'm just ready to export. So. Uh, let's see some of this crud. Uh, just, it'll come over here to my, my big mouse max button. Click that, uh, do export, export, uh, so you don't have, yeah, you don't, don't ha you don't need to have anything selected. I'm just going to do export uh, and then browse to where I want to put him. Uh, let's see, let's put him in uh, my SolidWorks, uh, my demos. I've got a hard hat. Uh, oh, thought I had a hard hat. Yeah, there it is. Uh, and, and I want to set down here as this file type, I want to set this to STL, Stereo Litho. Um, and let's give it a name. This, was a, this is a low poly head, so I'm just going to call it that. And hit save. Uh, and uh, uncheck selected only if you don't have anything selected. Uh, and then say OK. Uh, and that should do it. Um, and when I pick up, I will uh, come back in to uh, SOLIDWORKS and we'll bring this in and um, open it up and work with it from there.